I said what I said. I am bored with this. Big mother camera. I'm disengaging. I'm not engaging. Hello Berry True, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Berry Hills and guys I have some sweet tea for you today that we haven't had in a long time, okay? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Berry Troop. Subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell guys and let's talk about this mess. Girl, so we know that Southern Charm is coming for sure, okay? Uh, I think they're gonna start filming in October, if I'm right. Uh, last thing that I heard about it was that Craig, Shep, and Catherine are definitely coming back. You know, uh, there there are talks that Whitney is gonna be back at some capacity, and all of the other, you know, Austin and Pringle and Leva and uh danny and you know they are in talks but they probably are all of them are gonna be coming back plus some new faces um so but we're not gonna get you know southern charm till 2022 so it is what it is okay but it is happening you know i talk about it now the tea that i have for you today is about miss Catherine dennis because she is not having a good time with missing his kids okay you know that thomas ravenel went ahead and took the kids from catherine you know they went through this whole uh, custody battle which was very bad a lot of allegations were thrown out there that we don't know if they're true or not you know about catherine and drug use and you know a bunch of shit you know and eventually he win the custody which was expected because he is this super powerful person right there in charleston okay so he went the custody to take the kids and move them to a town two hours away from charleston okay uh because he was moving with uh his new fiance and you know they just have a kid and they was going to be this happy family forever and ever you know and then the girl left thomas also so girl i mean Let's stop there, right there for a second, because Thomas, I think he needs to analyze himself, because if another girl is leaving you with another baby, I think the problem is you at this point, honestly. Like, you need to know that you are toxic, and at some point, you need to acknowledge that you're toxic, and you need to do something about it, okay? Anyways, um, so Catherine had to give the kids, you know, they already move out, you know, and now Catherine in a series of... Um, post on social media is telling us how hard is her life without the kids she says on the first one missing my babies i try to keep from losing the rest of me to believe in god in good days okay and then this is so sad honestly and then in another one she says i still want to try but some days it'd be like that um Look, I mean, just like look at the picture. Like Catherine is just destroyed. I cannot, even, I cannot even imagine not being able to see your kids. Okay, and look, there is a lot of allegations going on against Catherine, but those allegations were bring by Thomas, who is also a very toxic person. So I'm thinking, like, who do we believe? You know, do we believe? Catherine, who, let's be honest, has been a little bit crazy during the seasons that we have known her on Southern Charm. Or do we believe Thomas, who it's definitely crazy AF, you know, and and uh, drunk uh, with power and does all these crazy things too. Like, it's so hard. But anyways, I cannot imagine just not being able to be with your kids for such long periods of time, okay? Like, it, it shouldn't be like that but i don't know i mean we have to believe that the court did this for a reason and i'm just hoping that it is a real reason and not just a bribe you know and just thomas you know bribing people to get her away but something inside of me is also telling me that that's what happened you know that the revenues are so powerful 
over there that they just can do whatever they want. So anyways, um, last month, Catherine called out the family court system in South Carolina. And uh, she basically said that it is so exhausting to constantly defend yourself against someone who is trying to change reality. And it, it can even make you question what you know happened or what is true. And then it says it can be exhausting to live two lives, one for your children and one for the world where everything is fine and the other where you are beaten down by the family court system. We see you and we stand with you. You are not alone. So, like I said, this is just a very heartbreaking situation. I'm just, at this point, we are, the only thing that we can expect, you know, is that, you know, whoever is doing this is doing it for the kids. Okay, because these kids are just going to need so much therapy when they grow up that it's going to be insane. Like, I think I haven't seen such a bad relationship between two parents in a very long time. Okay, so it's very hard that they they keep putting the kids in the middle instead of finding a way to just work it out. You know, but I feel that Thomas is so, you know, he just want everything to be his way and i don't know i just don't know what to believe you know because i don't i also don't want to say that catherine is just a plain angel because the allegations against her were very powerful you know and they were very bad you know like if you haven't seen them you know go to my southern charm playlist t uh, southern charm t playlist uh because some of those allegations i was like whoa you know, and they're like, some of them have witnesses, you know, and so it's like, oh, who do we believe, you know, like it breaks your heart to see Catherine posting this and doing these things, you know, and it's just like, who fault it is, you know, I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Um, what team are you on this one? Okay, do you think that... Thomas is 100% the bad one and manipulating this whole situation? Or do you think that Catherine is just, you know, mess up, you know, and she's just trying to manipulate us with this post? Or, I mean, what do you think? Or is, is she really, really the innocent victim here and Thomas is the bad one? Like, I don't know. It is so confusing. Like, I don't even really know what to believe anymore. Um, again, the only thing that we can expect is the best for the kids, right? Whatever happens to them, I don't think we really care anymore. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.